Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another of my declutter series for you. So this one's going to be palettes. Now I don't think there's going to be many I'm going to get rid of, but I'm going to try my best because I have a lot. I'll start with the high-end ones and then go down to the drugstore. I'm putting them all into one because I just really don't think there's going to be many I get rid of. Um, obviously I won't swatch too many because most of them you would have seen, but I'll maybe swatch some of my favourite colours from palettes and things like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, this is all of my high-end palettes. There's a lot. So let's just dig in. So obviously first of all it's the Naked palette. We all know I love this, definitely got not getting rid of it. Next I have my Urban Decay Vice Free palette. I'll just show you in there. It's absolutely stunning. I don't use it very often, which is really bad, but I absolutely love it so I can't get rid of it. Next one I've got here is Stila in the Life palette. And that's that one. Gorgeous palette. Definitely keeping this. Then I have Stila in the Moment. And this is another gorgeous one. I mean these shades, especially at the bottom, are stunning. This black's amazing, so I can't get rid of this. I'm not doing so well, am I? Next one is the New Tude palette from The Balm. That's that palette. Oops. To be honest, I don't really reach this, so I think I'm going to pass this one along. One. Next one, you know I'm not getting rid of this. This is one of my all-time favourite palettes. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. The next, I've got the Smashbox on the Rocks palette. Another one that is absolutely stunning. It's lovely. So that's that one. Definitely not getting rid of this. Then one of my newer palettes, the MAC um, Warm Neutral palette, which I got from IMAX. Not been able to use this that much, so I'm definitely not going with this shit. Next one, another new one that I've got recently, the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And obviously that comes with a brush. Definitely keeping this, it's absolutely lovely. What I didn't realise is when I got my Sephora order recently and I got some Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows, two of them were actually in this palette. So obviously I like them. And those were Warm Taupe and One Fresco. This is a lovely palette. Next one I've got here is the Violet Vast Holy Grail palette. Obviously I only got this recently so I'm not getting rid of this. Actually the day I'm filming this I've not been able to play with it yet so it's still very very new to me. The next one I have here is another Urban Decay. It's the new Moon Dust palette. Not been able to use this one yet either so certainly not getting rid of this. Next is one of my all-time favourite palettes, it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Control World Traveller palette. And I absolutely love this. Again, two of the other shades that I got recently were Morocco and Intense Gaze. Because I'm very nearly hitting pan on Intense Gaze and it is one of my favourite shadows ever. Okay, this one's quite new also, it's the Stila Eyes of the Window Shadow Palette in Spirit. And I've not used this yet, I actually got this back in... January or February. I've not used it yet. I've only swatched it, but it is a really pretty palette. I've just got so many, so I need to try and get rid of some. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm not very good with this. Next one is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Again, absolutely love this palette. It's gorgeous, stunning, not getting rid of. Have you noticed a trend that nearly all of them are new palettes? Next one, another new palette, is the Coco Blend from Zoeva. I got this at IMAX as well. And again, I've not been able to use this yet, so certainly not getting rid of this. Another new one which I have used, because this has been out for a little while, is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Um, there it is. It's so amazing. It's really strong though, even stronger than the Chocolate Bar palette. So if you don't really like strong scents, then maybe you shouldn't buy that if you are still able to get it. Next one I have here is my Visat palette. I paid a lot of money for this. This is the neutral matte palette. Technically I didn't pay as much as what they usually are, but I certainly would not pay £60 for a palette. And this is good, but it's not amazing. But I'm not going to get rid of it just because I spent so much money. So, can't do it. Next one I have here is the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette. My sister got me this for Christmas and it's absolutely stunning. There's that. The shades are just so perfect. The next one I've got here, it's not technically high-end, but it's the Manny MUA Makeup Geek Palette. Definitely not getting rid of this. It's one of my favourites. Absolutely stunning. I love Makeup Geek shadows. And the last high-end palette. It is my Makeup Forever Artist Shadow Palette. Um, 
I think it's just called the number one. And there's the shades in that one. Another neutral palette. What a surprise. But definitely not getting rid of it. I've done really good so far. I've got rid of one. That's not good, is it? Let's go on to the drugstore palettes and see how we do. Okay, so I've got one palette from Sleek. This is the A New Day palette. Um, I can't open it. And these shadows are really, really pretty. I've just not been able to use them recently. Um, so I need to start using that a bit more. So I'm not going to pass that one along. I'm going to keep that. I've got a couple of eBay palettes here, so I'm going to show you those. This one here is really, really nice. I love it. I mean, I I use this a lot, so part of me doesn't want to get rid of it, but then part of me thinks that I probably should. Um, but the colours are so stunning. It's just such a lovely neutral palette. Often I'll use this in with other colours and other little shades and stuff. So I'll keep this to one side and see how many I manage to get rid of. The next one I know I'm not getting rid of, but mainly because I like to use this for sort of, if I want something colourful, I go for this. And it's my 100, I think it's 188 shadows, something like that. It's crazy, it's so many shadows, but look at all that colours. It's amazing. And the pigmentation is absolutely stunning on these, so definitely keeping this. And I have two Morphe palettes. So first of all I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is lovely and... You can tell I've used this, it's quite messy. I love this palette, it's stunning. Definitely gonna keep this. Then I have the 35O palette. I've not actually got around to using this one yet. I only swatched it, um, but it is very nice. It doesn't inspire me as much as it does when I see the photos, when I see pictures of it on Instagram, I'm like, oh my God, that's something. And I don't feel quite as in love with it when I see it. But it is a really nice palette and I'm definitely going to keep that and get some use out of it. Okay, so I have two little e.l.f. palettes here. They're little black beauty books. The warm edition and the cool edition. So again, these are really colourful sort of palettes. It's a cool one. This is a warm one. So it's got a few pops of colour but mainly um, neutrals. These are really nice but I just don't reach for them. So I think I'm going to pass both of these along. Oh, not good. Next one I have is W7 in the buff palette. This is really nice, it's a dupe for the um, Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, but some of the shades are just... Then I have a couple of MUA palettes, so let's have a quick look. So the Undress palette from MUA is absolutely stunning, it's another dupe for the Naked palette. Um, not as good, but it are pretty good, and you can tell that it's well loved. Because I have the Naked 1 palette, and I have the Iconic one from Makeup Revolution, I am going to pass this all along for someone else to use it. Then I have the Ever After matte palette from them, which is lovely, um, but I've got so many matte palettes, I just don't ever reach for this, um, so I think I might as well pass this along for someone else to get use of. But I mean, for, I think they're £3, the palettes, I mean, they're amazing quality for the price. The next one I've got is the Heaven and Earth palette, and again, this is stunning, but I just, I've got so many palettes, I think I need to pass this along for someone else to use, because it's just going to waste at the moment. The one that I am definitely going to keep from UA is the 5th Birthday Party Edition one. Um, this is amazing and it was limited edition as well. And it's just got some of their best colours from throughout their palettes. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, then I've got two palettes from Freedom. So the first one here is the Audacious 3 palette. Which is more sort of pinky tones in there. They're really nice. This palette is lovely. And then I have the Pro Artist Pad Black Arts. Now, this is massive. And, I mean, the quality is lovely. I haven't really had much chance to use it yet. Um, because I have so many palettes. But, I think I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. See if I use it. If not, then maybe I'll pass it along. Um, but it is so lovely. So I'm keeping both of the Freedom ones. Okay, so now things get even more crazier. I have a lot, a lot of Makeup Revolution palettes. So let's get into them. And obviously I'm going to need to pass some of them along because I just have so many. It's crazy. So the first one I have here is the Go To Heaven palette. And these are stunning. They're so pretty. But I just don't reach for it. So I need to pass this along and let someone else get some use out of it. Um, 
moments. Okay, now I'm going to go through the sort of iconic palettes like this. So I have the iconic elements palette. I do really, really like this. But I guess some of the shades are really similar to the Naked Basics 2 and the Naked Basics 1. Um, so I should maybe pass that on along. I'm going to think about that one. I have the Romantic Smoked Palette, which is really lovely, but I just don't reach for it, so I'm going to pass this one along. I have the Iconic One Palette. I do really like this, so I'm going to keep this, especially for sort of dupes comparisons to the Naked. I then have the Acid's Bright Palette. And I mean, I've got some really nice colours in the other one, but none of them are quite as wow as these, so I think I'm going to keep this one. Okay, I also have this big, massive palette from um, Makeup Revolution, which I got given as a Secret Santa gift um, for Christmas, just gone. So I'm going to keep this one. I then have two of the chocolate bar palettes. I have Salsa Caramel and Chocolate Vice. Chocolate Vice is stunning. I got this as soon as it came out because I saw it at their birthday party and I just absolutely adore that palette. So definitely keeping that one. The Salted Caramel. I mean, this is another one of those palettes that I saw online and was like, oh, that's stunning. But I just don't reach for it. And obviously the pigmentation is really nice. It's a really lovely palette. But I just don't get use out of it. So I think... This is so difficult. I hate getting rid of palettes. But I think I should get rid of this one. I don't want to. Okay. One I know I'm definitely keeping. Jane's palette. The British Beauty Vlogger with Makeup Revolution. Fortune Favours the Brave palette. This one. And it's stunning. Definitely not getting rid of this. Okay. I have two of their sort of bigger palettes. So this one is the I Love Makeup Feel Gorgeous palette. And again, lovely shades, really nice palette, but I just don't reach for this. This one actually came with a gift with purchase, I think, so I'm just going to pass this one along. This one is the Ultra Eyes Flawless Matte Palette. Can't open it. And that's that. And again, this was another one that looked absolutely stunning in photos, but they all kind of look a bit samey, so I think I'm going to pass that along to someone else. Then I have the Iconic Pro 1, which is a dupe for the Lorac Pro 1 palette. And that's that one. Really like these shades, and I really want to get the Lorac Pro and then do a comparison on those, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette, which is also another really, really pretty palette, which I've just not got around to using currently, so I need to keep this and give that one a go. Four more, guys. We're nearly there. Palette Girls on Film. Not that one. It's lovely, but again, it's not one I reach for. It's one of the first palettes I got from them, which is amazing, but I think I need to pass it on. Next one I have here is the Iconic Smoky. Really nice palette, definitely keeping this one. And then have Girl Panic another really gorgeous one but again I have so many palettes I just don't reach for it so I'm going to pass this one along. The last palette here is the Pro Looks Stripped and Bare palette and this is this one. This is really nice and it gives you a really easy way of sort of pairing colours together but again I don't really reach for it so I think I need to pass this one along so someone can get use out of it. So going back to these two. What do I do? I don't know. I'm going to keep them both. I can't do it. I need to keep them. So I'm keeping them. So let's count up how many I've got rid of and how many I've kept. One moment, guys. Okay, so I've counted up. I've got 37 palettes left. But I have managed to get rid of 15 palettes. And I think that's pretty good considering how much I love palettes. And I didn't think I'd really get rid of that many. So I think I've done well. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.